Hello, in this video I want to show you how to set up Ari's router for the first time. And to do this, here I have a router, we'll need to plug in the power source on the back right here. So connect the power cord to the plug. Now we need to wait about 2-3 to three minutes till it powers, powers on. And uh, you can see that it has power by looking at the LED lamp right here that is flashing. And also when it's ready, the internet LED lamp will start uh, flashing in a different light depending on if you have an internet connection on it or not. So if not, then it will be red. If yes, I think it should be blue. Now, while it's powering on, I can show you different internet connection options. So you can use your telephone line. You can also use any other router connected using LAN right here and a cable uh, right here. So now we can actually see that it's powered on and what we want to do is to enable Wi-Fi because I'll be connecting it and configuring it using the Wi-Fi. So it's on. If you don't have Wi-Fi connection on your PC, then I would suggest to connect it using Ethernet cable. You can find it inside the box as well. Now uh, let's open a Wi-Fi settings on my phone. And here it is, the router that we want to connect to. And uh, again, if uh, you don't see it, then what you need to do is to press on the reset button on the back, hold it for around 30 seconds while pressed and the router will perform factory reset. After that, you should see it by its original name and we can connect it to our smartphone. Now it's also necessary to enter a password and you can find it on the back. And the password is pre-shared key and you can see it like this. On your router it will be different probably. Now let's try to connect it with my phone. Okay, it seems that it's already connected now. We just needed to wait a bit. Next step in configuration is to open the configuration website. And you can find it under this address right here. And when your device is factory new, the username and password, sh username should be admin and the password will be the same as your Wi-Fi key. So we, again, we'll need to look on the back and use the pre-shared key. Now we successfully logged into the router settings and now we can Let's try it again because so confirm a user is already logged into your gateway. Do you want to log out the current user and continue login? Okay. And uh, router is ready. We can perform a configuration. Now there's a lot of settings that you can change here. You can uh, check our next tutorials for each specific settings but most prominent options would be to change the password or Wi-Fi name. And uh, you should be able to do it in, uh, I think, advanced. Now there's port forwarding here and not here for sure. Let's go for gateway. Okay, so I think it should be right here. There's guest and home. We want to change the password for our home network and here you can see it. And to change it, click on your device. And now that you can see the name for this and the password, which you can change right here. So sorry, the that was first time I was opening this version and wasn't sure how to do it, but it's quite simple. So just go here, enter your password and also make sure to save the settings afterwards. 
there's a capacha right here which you need to also complete before saving and that's basically all of the uh, necessary things you need to do to get this router ready and that's it for this video hope you like it please consider subscribing to our channel leave a like and a comment below